This class is intended as a introduction to the Liberate Your Neck and Shoulder series, which will begin in January. We'll do today's lesson, Lying on Our Back. If you are uncomfortable lying on your back, Please feel welcome to lie on your bed or to put whatever kind of cushioning you want behind your back. We'll have our knees bent. And so if there's any difficulty having your knees bent, you can put some kind of bolster or pillows behind your knees. There are two strong impulses for us as human beings. Both of them are extraordinary abilities. One is the ability to form habits. It's an extraordinary thing if you think about it, because when something passes from the aware learning centers of our brain to our lower brain, as most things that we learn do, we no longer have to think about that thing. We no longer have to think about stopping when we see a red light. We no longer have to think about how we're walking, speech. All of this learning becomes completely unconscious, becomes a habit. Now, the other marvelous ability that we have is the ability to learn. When the conditions are right, we can learn to change the habits that don't necessarily serve us well. For most of us, we encounter things in our life that we unconsciously habituate to. And one of the primary things that's like this is stress. When we have anxiety or prolonged stress, chronic stress, we tend very quickly to develop a habit around that stress, or as people call it, stress response. And that stress response tends to very much involve things that we do with our shoulders, with our neck, with our breathing. And so in today's lesson, I think you'll find that we are able through learning, through awareness, attending to ourselves, feeling, sensing ourselves to actually change things that may have been habits for 10, 20, 30, 40 years. Having said that, please lie on your back. With some kind of padding behind you so you're not lying on a hard floor. And simply sense, simply sense your contact with the floor. If you've never done a Feldenkrais lesson before, have no worries. I'll explain all of the basics that you need sense the contact with the floor of your lower back. Feel one side of your lower back. There may be a little space between, say, the right side of your lower back and the floor. And the left side of your lower back. And then feel the contact with the floor of your spine. Just slowly move your attention from your lower spine. Slowly move your attention up your spine. You're not evaluating yourself. You're not judging anything. You're simply sensing, feeling. And you can feel that certain parts of your spine are touching the floor clearly. And other parts of your spine may be touching not so clearly. And your breathing is simple. 
oftentimes for many of us, the act of paying attention itself is enough to make us hold our breath or inhibit our breathing in some way. So we don't want to do anything today that causes us to stop our breathing. Your breathing can be shallow, easy, simple. Now, if you come to the lower part of your neck and you can feel there that your vertebra, your spine begins to leave the floor and there's a gap, a space there behind your neck. And then you feel the back of your head, which lies very clearly on the floor. And now move your attention to your right shoulder blade. And just feel where that right shoulder blade is touching the floor, where it's not touching the floor. And now your left shoulder blade, the same idea. Then you find that maybe you can discern that one shoulder blade is higher or lower than the other. Or maybe one shoulder blade feels wider or narrower than the other. But if at any moment you find that you're holding your breath, then simply stop, bring your breathing back. Your right arm is lying on the floor. And just feel where your right hand is touching the floor or not touching the floor. And your left arm. And of course, there's your right leg and your left leg. And now slowly bend your knees and stand your feet and separate your feet, maybe a tiny bit more than shoulder width apart and put your hands on your lower ribs so that your hands are just resting where they're comfortable. All five fingers are more or less together, just naturally, not in some constricted way. Putting your hands on your lower ribs like that means that your elbows are wide. That's right. And now make a very small movement of lifting your right elbow just a tiny bit away from the floor. Just slowly, you make a very small movement of lifting your right elbow away from the floor, and then you let it fall back to the floor, and you rest for a moment. We want to rest between each movement so that it's as if each movement is individuated one from the other. And that means that our attention can be fresh, has a moment to fresh in between each movement. And you lift, as you exhale, lift your right elbow a little bit away from the floor and let it fall back. If you turn your attention inwardly, you can feel that this is not simply a movement of lifting your elbow, but you can feel that something happens in your right shoulder. Something happens in your right clavicle or collarbone. And you do this as you exhale, you lift your right elbow, only what's easy. In fact, as you lift your right elbow, you feel where you can reduce the effort, where you can do less work. 
There is no desire here to accomplish something to make a large movement. You just do what's easy. All right, now stop for just a moment and press your left elbow a tiny bit into the floor. Just make a small movement, gentle, of pressing your left elbow toward the floor. That's right, very small but you increase the pressure by say, oh, 2% of your left elbow against the floor. And now a few times, as you press your left elbow toward the floor, lift your right elbow, just simply, that's right. You do both movements simultaneously together. Still exhaling as you do the movement, still making the movement small, simple, pleasant to you. Good. And now just see if there's something a little easier about lifting your right elbow as we did before, if it feels a little lighter. Good. Now, just rest there for a moment and turn your attention as you rest to the contact of your right shoulder blade with the floor compared to your left. Has something changed? Is something different than a few minutes ago? Again, bend your knees, stand your feet, put your hands on your lower ribs. That's right. And now a few times, as you lift your right elbow again, turn your head and eyes a little bit to the left, just a small amount, as if it's one movement. You only turn your head to the left the same number of degrees as you're lifting your right elbow. And you feel where you can soften your chest, where you can relax your jaw, your throat, especially your stomach. Most of us carry far, far too much unnecessary tension or effort in our stomach. Now a few times, turn your head and eyes to the right as you lift your right elbow and feel it's an odd sort of thing. My elbow isn't as free when I turn my head to the right. The left elbow is just resting. That's right. You feel where you can relax your face, your eyes. Good. And now bring your head back to the middle and just lift your right elbow a few times and feel is it lighter than when we started? Good, stretch out your legs, rest again for a moment, and you feel, feel the right side of your upper back compared to the left side of your upper back. Which side of your upper back feels wider or narrower? Your breathing is simple, easy. Please bend your knees. Separate your feet a little more than shoulder width apart. And now slowly lift your left elbow a little bit, just lightly, simply. You'll find that the slower you make the movement, the more time you'll have to sense and feel where you can let go. 
where you can reduce the effort. That's right, just slowly, without stiffening the right arm, without stiffening your left hand, just as lightly as possible, as if you could relax yourself as you lift the left elbow. In other words, that the lifting of the elbow is of minor importance, and really your focus is on feeling where you can let go as you move. It's a funny idea. Now, try that idea. You press your right elbow towards the floor as you lift your left elbow. And just observe if there's something about doing those two movements together that makes it easier, lighter to lift your left elbow. Just slowly. And feel when you lift your left elbow, something happens to the shape of your chest. One side of your chest is pressing a little bit against the floor. And one side of your chest is lifting a little bit away from the floor. Good. Now, Lift your left elbow a little bit and see, is that a tiny bit easier, lighter? That's it. And now slowly, as you lift your left elbow, turn your head and eyes a little bit to the right. Just slowly, as you exhale, as you feel, where you can do less, where you can give up trying to do the thing well. Relaxing your abdomen, your stomach. Seeing where you can soften your face, your mouth. And now turn your head and eyes to the left a little bit and just observe the feeling of how that dampens or restricts the movement of the left elbow. It's not the same. Of course, I can have certain twists or turns in my spine in which the turning my head to the left as I lift the left elbow feels maybe easier. And now just lift your left elbow without turning your head or thinking about your head. Of course, your head may turn a little bit spontaneously, but just feel if that movement of the elbow is a little lighter than when we started. Keep your knees bent and just rest there for a moment. The beautiful thing for me about the Feldenkrais method is that the way in which we do the lessons, in other words, the process of the lessons actually creates the conditions for our brain to learn easily simply. And that's how it is that things that have been habits for decades and decades can change very quickly. Now, slowly, just alternate, lift your right elbow, and then let it go back to the floor, and then lift your left elbow, just slowly and feel how when you lift your left elbow, your left shoulder blade comes a little bit away from the floor. And when you lift your right elbow, your right shoulder blade comes away from the floor.
Do you detect that one arm feels lighter than the other? It's possible. Your feet are separated, shoulder width apart, or a little bit more. Both feet are on the floor. You want the feet to be symmetrical so that your pelvis can be free to participate. And now go ahead and turn your head and eyes a little to the right when you lift your left elbow and a little to the left when you lift your right elbow. But just slowly, slowly, you rest between each movement. Beautiful. All right, please stop and please stretch out your legs and just rest for a moment and just observe. Observe the feeling of your upper back. Remember when we started, before we started the lesson, we felt the contact of our shoulder blades with the floor. Has something changed there? Are your shoulder blades more in contact or less in contact with the floor than when we started? And bring your attention to your lower abdomen and just feel, is your breathing a little different than when we started? And please bend your knees and please put your hands on your lower ribs. And now slowly make a very small movement of moving your right elbow downwards a little so that your right elbow can slide on the floor a tiny bit down. In other words, in the direction of your right foot. That's right, the wall below your feet. And then you come back and you see if you can make that movement of your right elbow downwards, just small, easy. The elbow can slide on the floor. And see if you can do that as you exhale. That's it. And you can feel when you do that small movement that the right side of your neck gets longer as your right shoulder blade moves away from your right ear. I mean, your shoulder blade is moving simply because you're moving your elbow down. Now, Stop that for a moment and notice how your nose is pointed toward the ceiling, All right? And slowly see if you can maintain that relationship of your nose toward the ceiling and move your right ear toward your right shoulder, meaning you slide your head on the floor, the back of your head on the floor, but without turning your head. Just a small movement. Yes, you have to pick the head up off the floor a tiny bit, but you just bring your right ear a tiny bit closer to your right shoulder. Your knees are still bent. Very nice, just easy, just simple. You're interested in the quality of the movement, not how big a movement you make. Bring your head down a little bit, your right ear toward your right shoulder, and then rest there. You rest there for a moment. And then take your head back to the middle and rest there for a moment. So for each movement, you rest twice. Now, when you bring your right ear down and you rest there, 
please take a moment to observe the shape of your chest, how the right side of your chest has become a little shorter and the left side of your chest is a little longer. And then bring your head back to the middle and feel now both sides of your chest are symmetrical. Now, slowly combine these two movements we've been doing. Move your right elbow down as you move your right ear toward your right shoulder without turning your head, keeping your nose toward the ceiling. And then you rest there. You go, go down and then you stop and you rest and you breathe comfortably. And then you take your head back to the middle and your elbow to the neutral, and you rest there. Can you feel how the ribs on the right side of your chest are coming closer together? And relax your face, your lips, your throat, and bring your head back to the middle and just rest for a moment. Stretch out your legs and feel the right side of your neck compared to the left side of your neck. Is there a difference? Learning that sticks with us almost always happens in very small increments. What Dr. Feldenkrais would call approximations. So we're not in a rush to make a change. We're not in a rush to improve. We're not in a rush to fix ourselves. And you'll see in changing our relationship to time, the change will happen spontaneously. It's really quite remarkable. You'll find even today, just in this hour together, how quickly change can happen. All right, please bend your knees and put your hands on your lower ribs just comfortably. And now slowly move your right elbow up a little bit. Just a small movement. It's not as big a movement as the elbow moving down. Just from a structural, mechanical, anatomical point of view, it's a smaller movement because the, the humerus, our arm is being pushed into the shoulder joint. Oh, just slowly move your right elbow up a little and then rest there. And then move your right elbow back to the neutral and rest there for a moment. Each time you move your right elbow up a little bit, just what's easy as you exhale. Can you feel that now it's the right side of your chest that's getting a little bigger, a little wider? In other words, your ribs on the right side of yourself are separating a little bit one from the other. And that's it. And now slowly, slowly, let your right elbow rest and just Move your head, bring your left ear a little bit toward your left shoulder. Very small movement, keeping your nose toward the ceiling, just as we've been doing. Just what's easy. Feeling actually when you move your left ear toward your left shoulder and then rest, the right side of your chest is wider. You feel that. You just do what's pleasurable, what's comfortable. 
And now combine those two movements. Move your right elbow a little bit up as you move your head, taking your left ear just the tiniest bit toward your left shoulder. Think of it like a gesture. It's not a matter of having to make a large movement. That's it. As you exhale, without trying, only doing what's comfortable, only doing what's easy. What about taking your right elbow down a little bit as you take your left ear toward your left shoulder? And what about taking your right ear down when you take your right elbow up? Can you feel why we did one variation first before this one? And now slowly slide your right elbow down and slide your head down and slide your right elbow up and slide your head towards your left shoulder. Just what's easy, but you'll feel that there's a beautiful widening of the right side of your chest and then a narrowing. Just what's easy. Good. And please stop. And please rest. And just observe. We've been working with the right side of ourselves for the last 10 minutes or so. Do you feel a difference between one side of yourself and the other? Does one side of your face feel softer than one side of your neck? And observe the movement of your lower abdomen as you inhale and exhale. Which side of your upper back feels wider? Your right side or your left side? And please bend your knees. Put both hands on your lower ribs. Stand your feet a little bit more than shoulder width apart. That's it. And now slowly, slowly move your left elbow downwards and rest there. And then come back to the neutral and rest there. Again, that idea of there being two rests. The rest when you move away from the neutral and you take a moment to observe how that's changed the left side of your chest and the left side of your neck has become longer and then take your left elbow back to the neutral and rest there for a moment. Only doing what's easy. There's always a problem that when we know what we're going to do, we tend to do it a little more unconsciously, a little more quickly maybe. So you see if you can slow things down enough that it's as if you're moving your elbow down for the very first time each time you do it. Your attention is fresh. And now as you move your left elbow down, see if you can make a little smiling movement of your mouth. And then you feel something funny that as your lips widen, 
you'll feel that the left side of your mouth widens a little more easily than the right side of your mouth. You see if you can feel that. And now begin to move your head, moving your left ear toward your left shoulder. And you find that somehow, because of moving your head toward your left shoulder, that your left elbow is moving a little more. That's right. Just what's easy, slowly. Just what's comfortable, comfortable for you. And rest there and feel, feel how the right side of your chest is long and the left side of your chest has become shorter. Your entire spine bends and makes a letter C. Your spine is bending in a uniform sort of way. Beautiful. And come back, bring your head back to the middle and just keep your knees bent and rest there a moment. And now move your left elbow upwards a little bit. It's a small movement. Remember, we talked about how the, the humerus, the bone of your upper arm is being pushed into the shoulder joint. So it's a smaller movement than the movement down. You raise the left elbow up on the floor and then you stay there for a moment and you rest and then you slowly come back to the neutral. And now gradually, gradually just doing what's pleasurable to you, alternate taking your head to the left as you slide your left elbow down and taking your head to the right toward your right shoulder as you slide your left elbow upwards. You don't have to lift your left elbow from the floor. It just glides or slides up the floor when your right ear goes towards your right shoulder and down the floor. That's right. Relaxing your abdomen the whole time and your mouth. Can the floor support you somewhere in yourself? Can you give yourself to the floor? Good, and rest for a moment. Just rest. And you can stretch out your legs. And again, feel the, the width of your back on the floor. Remember before we started, we sensed the contact of our spine with the floor. Is that different than when we started? And your lower back. Please bend your knees, separate your feet, shoulder width apart. Put your hands on your lower ribs. And now see if you can take your right elbow down as you take your left elbow up and slide your head toward the elbow that's going down. That's it. And now slide your left elbow down and your right elbow up and your left ear toward your left shoulder. Slowly, not quickly, you're not in a rush. You're not trying to get something over with. 
You're trying to be with yourself in the moment as you move your left elbow up and your right elbow down, and then your right elbow up and your left elbow down. That's it, alternating like that. And moving your head with the elbow that's going down. Can you a few times move your head toward the elbow that's going up? You try that and feel what happens. Slide your head towards the elbow that's going up. Take your left ear towards your left shoulder and your right ear towards your right shoulder as it comes up. Yeah, that's different, isn't it? That means part of your spine needs to go in one direction while the middle of your spine goes in the other direction. And now let your head follow the elbow that's going down and feel that movement just got a little lighter. Very nice. And come back and rest for a moment. Stretch out your legs. Again, observe the change in the contact of your back with the floor. Can you feel that the change in yourself is general? The entirety of yourself is lying on the floor differently than when we started. After all these decades of involvement with Dr. Feldenkrais's work and ideas, I still find it remarkable how receptive our nervous system, how receptive our brain is to this way of sensing and feeling and understanding ourselves. Is your breathing different than when we started? Please bend your knees, separate your feet a little bit, put your hands on your lower ribs. The original movement was lifting your right elbow away from the floor. You see if that movement feels a little lighter, a little easier, a little more comfortable, a little more congruent with you. That's right, as you exhale, can you feel how your right shoulder blade comes away from the floor, how the right side of your chest tilts to the left a little. And now, as you do that, lift your right elbow just a tiny bit away from the floor, and now stay there and make a circular movement. Think that you have some ink on the tip of your elbow, and you're going to draw a circle a clockwise circular movement with your right elbow in space. You, your elbow is a little bit away from the floor and then you make that circular movement a little bit forward and down and back and up and forward and down. Very nice. Rest your right elbow there for a moment on the floor. Keep your knees bent. And now lift your right elbow away from the floor and make that circle counterclockwise. So you go toward the ceiling and then up a little and toward the floor and down and then forward. Still feeling where you can do less. 
where you can reduce the effort in your jaw, your chest. Your neck. And rest, rest a moment and just turn your attention to your right shoulder blade as it lies on the floor compared to your left shoulder blade. The extent of the improvement is unlimited. With each variation, there's a little more comfort in the shoulder and your neck. And now slowly, slowly, lift your left elbow away from the floor. And again, slowly, you make that clockwise circular movement, a little forward, a little up, a little back towards the floor, a little down, a little forward, just slowly. Maybe you make three or four circles and then you rest if you like. But the important thing is you go slow enough that you can feel where you can let go, where you can relax yourself from the inside, your stomach, your jaw, and now counterclockwise. That's it and you feel where you can reduce the effort in your chest. And then you begin to feel that wherever you move your attention, you can feel the echo of that circular movement that your elbow is making. You feel that? Wherever you bring your attention in your chest, your back, your pelvis, Very nice. And rest a moment. Just observe. Observe yourself, your contact with the floor. When the change is general, it means that that our whole self is improved, not just our shoulder blade. The movement engages our entire self. And now please bend your knees again, put your hands on your lower ribs. As you lift your right elbow, toward the ceiling, tilt your knees to the left. Tilt your knees, of course, means your pelvis goes to the left and you lift your right elbow as if the lifting of your right elbow carries your knees to the left. You roll to the left, your head and eyes turn to the left and your elbow can keep lifting, can't it? And come back and do that a few times, lifting your right elbow and tilting your knees and turning your head and eyes as if that little movement of the elbow is enough to turn your entire self, to turn the whole of you to the left. Yeah, your left knee can fall to the floor, of course. Now do the same thing from your left elbow, lifting your left elbow, tilting your knees to the right. And turning your head and eyes to the right, your pelvis to the right. And this time, of course, your right knee can fall to the floor. And now, just what's easy, go ahead and alternate like that, lifting one elbow 
That's right. And letting your legs tilt and your head roll and then lift your other elbow until you come towards rolling onto your side almost. The elbow is a, as a feather and that feather can turn your entire body 90 degrees and then you lift the other elbow and you turn, beautiful. And I'll do it quickly a few times, quickly. The elbow starts the movement. That's it. Beautiful. All right. And please stretch out your legs, bring your arms down along your side. And one last time, just observe how your shoulder blades are lying on the floor. Is that different? Then when we started, would you say that your shoulder blades are more in contact with the floor, wider? And now slowly bend your knees. And slowly roll to your side. That's right, just take your time, slowly roll to your side, come to sitting. And now slowly come to standing. Just take your time, take your time. And just stand there for a moment. Just stand there and notice. Would you say that your shoulders are higher or lower than when we started? Would you say that your neck feels longer or shorter than when we started? And see if you can relax your lower abdomen your jaw, your throat, your shoulders. Very good. And now walk for a moment, walk around and just observe your feeling of yourself. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and stay safe.